what does it mean to be integral? According to Collins' dictionary, integrity can mean adherence to moral principles, honesty, the quality of being unimpaired, soundness, or unity and wholeness. These three notions make integrity all about good, either as an adherence to good or a quality of good. How can we understand what is good? Part 1. What does the Bible say about the quality of good? Quote, then God said, let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. God called the night day, and the darkness he called night. Genesis 1, 3 verse 5. This is the earliest mention of good in the Bible. What did God mean by good? Well, Genesis also reads, quote, The earth was a formless void, and darkness covered the face of the deep. God wouldn't have created anything if he thought of the previous formlessness as good. Furthermore, that light is a key factor of photosynthesis, which makes plants grow to enrich ecosystems and create healthy food for sustaining a population. God creates vegetation and humans later, which means that God needed light because of the qualities it would need for the ecosystem to function. As theologians John Muddyman and John Barton write, quote, the word good here, however, refers more directly to the usefulness of the world, presumably, primarily, its usefulness to mankind. Barton and Muddyman believe that the emphasis on Genesis, quote, is placed in the position of mankind in God's plan, the creation of mankind. This leads very nicely into what plants can teach humans about being good in principle, or part two, what does the earliest book say about adherence to moral principles? The trees and plants God creates in verse 11 are perfect for chapter 2's narrative towards original sin. Quote, you may eat freely of every tree of the garden, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat, for in the day that you eat of it you shall die. This is no stern authoritarian gesture, but a liberty to seek good and avoid evil. In this case, when they were seduced into eating the wrong fruit, Quote, then both, the eyes of both were opened, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together and made loincloths for themselves. What's wrong with avoiding nudity, you say? Well, the problem is more or less that they knew they were naked, which wasn't a problem before they ate the fruit. You see, the opposite of good fruit appears to be some kind of self-consciousness realising that we have a weakness, for instance, no clothes, that can lead us away from other people and God. Perhaps being good means listening to other people and avoiding an overdose of selfishness. So from what we have covered, something is good if it is useful, and if it enriches our systems, the ecosystems, the muscular system, the digestive system, the respiratory system, I mean, light is good because it helped create the plants that we need to survive. Yet, good doesn't just come to us. We need to be on guard from when God warns of danger. So to conclude, being integral is about seeing the usefulness in the things we need ingest spiritually and physically, as well as being careful and considerate when heeding warnings from others. Any questions?